So, <laughs> I'm teaching my ELLs grammar and such, and I realize they do not understand much. So what do I do? Do I stay? Do I go? Do I come check to find out just how much they know? Of course, then there's one thing I do when I'm done. I flamingo, flamingo, flamingo! Flamingo, exactly! It's the perfect bird to sum up the process in one simple word. When, scaf when my scaffolding has to be done on the fly, I cannot be flying with somebody shy. I have to be present, I have to be strong, I have to discover just where I went wrong. The flamingo, I promise, is ready to go. So flamingo, flamingo, flamingo! Yes, flamingo, you stay or step forward or back. You think and you ponder your mode of attack. Then you throw all the junk out, look at your swell bot. And <laughs> flamingo, flamingo, flamingo! If my students are struggling, it's probably me that hasn't provided opportunity. It's got to be safe, safe word phrase then, you know. Flamingo, flamingo, flamingo! Yes, I know that you've got it, it's painfully clear. But sometimes it feels like your brains disappear. <laughs> if you're teaching a lesson, you think just my skunk. And the time for your e crick is literally sunk. <laughs> just remember the bird who will stand on one foot and carefully think about which foot to put on the path to redemption, toward fluency. I want them to own it. No renting for me. I need an explosion of learning, I mean. Of learning, I mean. The kind I can measure. It has to be seen. So I comp check. I see what... Oh, I comp check my students. I see what they know. Then flamingo, flamingo, flamingo! flamingo. Oh my gosh! How about that, huh?